Hello everyone, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. It's Friday night here where I am, and this morning I did a Twin Flame reading video, so if you would like to check out those Twin Flame messages, that video is already live and available. But as I was going about my day, I wasn't really planning on creating another video today. But this concept keeps coming back into my mind and I just keep thinking this is something I need to speak on. So today I'm going to talk about something we call the Twin Flame Love Bubble or the Twin Flame Bubble Love Phase. Depending on what wording you use to describe it, I think I have probably spoken about it both ways and kind of used those terms interchangeably. But essentially, this is like the equivalent of a honeymoon period to a married couple, but for twin flames. In fact, to say it's like the honeymoon period is really such an understatement. And I really want to begin this video with a little bit of a preface here because I really want to emphasize this is one of the most difficult things to speak on when it comes to the twin flame connection and that's why i haven't made a video on this topic specifically so far because as many of you know because i know many of you are twin flames who connect with my channel and with my videos there are just certain things in fact so many things about being a twin flame about this twin flame path that are indescribable Human physical words just feel so small and insignificant in comparison to the intense emotions and not just emotions but deeply energetic experiences that we have as twin flames. And that is why this topic, the twin flame love bubble or bubble love phase, is particularly hard to put words to because this topic is something that is almost entirely energetic. This experience is almost entirely energetic, meaning it's something we experience that goes beyond normal human experience, that goes beyond what other people will understand or even believe. These are the kinds of things, and I'm going to get into some more details in a second. I just feel I need to begin with this kind of explanation, but these are the kinds of experiences where you either would be completely incapable of describing it to another person, or if you did find a way to describe it to them, they would not be able to hear you. And what do I mean by that? If you've gone through this particular particular experience in the twin flame journey, this bubble love phase, what happens is when you describe it to people, friends, family, even your closest relatives and friends, people you are very close with and who know so much about you, this is what will happen if you begin to describe this experience to someone who is either not fully spiritually awakened or not on this twin flame specific path, you will begin to ex describe some of these experiences and they will look at you with this kind of glazed over look in their eye. Like they're still there with you, they're still listening to you, but it's like part of their brain kind of checked out. Some of you might have actually had this experience just in general with like trying to explain being a twin flame to someone and they just look at you blankly. So then after that, one of two things might happen. A, this person who is not fully spiritually awakened or not familiar with the twin flame path or not a twin flame themselves, they will either react very strongly to the negative or they will move along as though they did not hear the profundity of what you just said. You could tell them the most profound experience that happened between you and your twin flame and they are most likely going to meet 
that experience with skepticism, criticism, or total ignorance. They will just ignore it altogether. I personally have had this experience even with people that I can generally speak on many different topics, even spiritual topics about. And I'm not sure exactly why this happens. I'm kind of going off on a little tangent here. Do let me know in the comments if this happens to anyone else when you try to share about these experiences with others in your life, because I feel I just kind of channeled this as I was trying to speak about this other thing this love bubble phase although these two are really connected because i brought all of that up because that is the kind of reaction you are especially likely to get from others if you try to describe your experiences during the twin flame love bubble or bubble love phase and here's why that happens the reason they either cannot hear you or must reject what you are saying about what is happening between you and your twin flame is because it completely defies their paradigm of love. These people you're speaking to have a worldview, a very conventional worldview of what love and relationships are supposed to look like. And when you come to them and start sharing about these experiences that are so beyond and outside of this traditional conventional understanding of love because they literally are incapable of understanding you or i should say rather they are incapable of understanding you because what you are speaking is just like completely outside of their belief system completely outside of their realm of programmed understanding about love and not only that but most likely they will tell you it's too good to be true a part of them will think that you're making it up or kind of imagining it or even a little bit delusional and again it all comes back to they have this understanding of what love is supposed to look like what relationships are supposed to look like and what that is going to look like for them like what they expect that to look like in their own life so when you come to them and tell them about this person you met that maybe you're not even dating, maybe you're not even speaking to very much, but you are having all of these profound connections, experiences with this person, it is most likely going to be, okay, and this is just another thing, but part of the reason they will reject this is because what you are sharing with them, and this won't be true for everyone, but most of the time, most people who are twin flames, who are on this twin flame path, are twin flame is strategically placed at the time and place in our lives that we need to meet them for the purpose of triggering some kind of massive growth expansion and evolution within us usually even our spiritual awakening and this means the experiences we share with our twin flame are by nature entirely different and seemingly seemingly crazy even to us even to our own minds it's like we begin to wonder if we are delusional just because it's very likely when your twin flame comes along when you're in this love bubble or bubble love phase especially things will begin to happen that will cause you to not only will others around you like reject or not believe or be confused by what you're saying or not process it but you will begin to experience this split in yourself, in a sense, where there is this part of you that understands the spiritual path you're on that's like, this is my person. I remember when I had this first experience with my twin flame, it literally like brought me to my knees and I was like just crying, just releasing this emotion, just feeling the intensity, the spiritual nature of what I was experiencing. And so a part of you will feel that, will be able to process that. That is your soul. That is your eternal self. However, there will be this split because we aren't just pure soul. We also have this human aspect, this element to us that has been programmed with ideas about love, relationships, and even possibility. And what happens or begins to happen when we meet our twin flame breaks all of our understanding of logic, reason, even our understanding of love. And it all happens so quickly. And again, this is usually some of our first experiences, even in our lifetime, with 
spirituality, not just as a concept, but as something that is like happening to us, synchronicities, signs, feeling almost this direct line of communication with the universe. All of that begins to play out around us in a very intense and unignorable way, especially upon meeting our twin flame. Now, of course, I'm speaking generally here because I know that there are some people who meet their twin flame in the physical when they are more spiritually awakened and they might be better able to process these experiences and not have such a shock by them, not be so shocked by them, which sometimes we refer to as soul shock, by the way. I think I've spoken on that before, but maybe I'll do a whole separate video on that later. But essentially what the bubble love phase is, let's just get down to kind of defining it. Like I said, you could kind of equate this to the honeymoon period for a married couple. And the reason I say that is because usually the honeymoon follows the wedding ceremony. So there is this profound like culmination point event which in this metaphor is the wedding. And then afterwards there's this period of like bliss connection. It's a very unique and temporary period of time. And so for twin flames, you could think of the actual wedding ceremony being equivalent to this physical touch. And I say touch because I want to allow this to apply to twin flames listening who are in many different situations. So this is like, I would call it a meeting, but I know not for everyone is it going to be a literal, physical, in-person meeting. I know some of you will meet your twin flame online. When I reconnected with my twin flame in the physical, we found each other online. So, um, and I might get into more of my story later. I know some of you have been asking for that. So let me know if you want to hear more about that. I just, I sometimes don't share as much about my story because I don't want to bore you with details. I'm kind of like, I really enjoy sharing about material and topics and doing readings. But if you do want to hear more about that, I would be happy to make a video on it sometime. But anyway, so, okay. So the wedding in the scenario, the metaphor is like equivalent to meeting your twin flame in the physical world in this lifetime. So for some of you, this will be like in my case, reconnecting online, being in communication actively. For some of you, this will be literally bumping into them at a coffee shop, meeting them in person. The key thing about these meetings is like, you have to be consciously aware that the meeting occurred because the unconscious meetings have been happening your whole life. You and your twin flame are always unconsciously connecting through dreams, through even unconscious dreams, ex dream experiences, dreams you don't remember, but you actually were meeting your twin flame in the astral realm during these dreams. And again, so many of these topics could be separate videos, but telepathically, energetically, you are always in communication with your twin flame. So this moment, this culmination point is again, strategically placed meant to trigger a greater level of healing, growth, expansion, evolution, even in many people, a spiritual awakening, if they aren't already beginning to awaken. And then at this point, something happens and we call this the bubble love phase. Now I won't say it's always immediately like this after that meeting point. There's really, when it comes to the twin flame path, I feel an error that, that I made when I was coming to this path is thinking that there was like a black and white truth or a formula or a checklist. But the truth is that although we all are experiencing a twin flame energy within this divine love connection, the ways that that energy manifests can be very different from person to person. So always use your own intuition when coming to these videos or podcasts or anything that I have to say. Know that it can look different for you. I'm simply trying to draw the parallels here because there usually are a lot of similarities between twin flame couples. Okay, so this bubble love phase, again, the period usually, again, I say usually, right after you reconnect in the physical, you meet. I'm getting chills even just talking about this because for me, again, not to get too much into my own story, but my bubble love phase happened about five years ago. And during this period of time, it was like I felt, and of course, twin flames are always very connected. I mean, 
you really could compare it to having an umbilical cord um, to a mother when you're a child, but it was like to the nth degree, to the max during this love bubble phase. I felt so incredibly attached and in tune with my twin during that time, like in real time, every moment, incredibly aware. And it's funny because we live together in the same space now and we spend a lot more time together physically, but I've never throughout any point in our connection felt so like it's, it's hard to put the words to it, but it's like you, and I think that, I think that why this happens is because it's like your soul is in shock by how connected you are to this person, how connected you've always been, that you are consciously more aware of that connection all the time. If that makes sense. Like initially you like, it's almost like you can just sense them. You can see them. I used to be able to like smell what my twin flame was smelling a lot of the time to almost get flashes of seeing what he was seeing. It was like this very intense energetic connectedness, which of course we've always had and still have. But I find that for most twin flame couples, this connectedness is the most intense and manifests in the most profound ways during this initial period of time, right upon reconnecting the physical or meeting in some way and then again sharing this and I talk about this so much but sharing this huge amount of energy right because we are always sharing energy with our twin flame from the day that we are born and even before then throughout eternity we are exchanging energy but when we meet it's like we are now merging so I talk about the aura merge, but it can happen virtually as well. It's essentially when we are in the same virtual or physical space, close enough that our auras are touching or merging, and then we exchange this massive amount of energy. And the reason I'm not now talking about that is because another thing that happens during this love bubble phase is that huge influx of energy just skyrockets your vibration almost immediately. It happens very, very fast. So essentially like imagine a super powerful, like not even a river, but like a power washer or something, just huge amounts of power of water. Um, and imagine that that's breaking through all of these walls and you can imagine that if the water pressure is really high, the energy is really intense like it is, especially at the beginning with our twin flame, it just will immediately break through all of these boundaries, all of these walls. And now imagine that's happening in your energy body. So now imagine you're taking in all of this energy from your twin flame into your energy body, absorbing it very quickly, and then it's swirling through you and essentially raising your vibration so fast. It's almost like what people talk about with having a spontaneous spiritual awakening or like, because there are events in our lives that can cause us to just almost spontaneously awaken or spontaneously have access to these higher realms. In this case, the fifth dimension, like higher realms of existence, even without having the the knowledge the resources and the level of healing to be able to sustain that very high vibration now i'm bringing that up because people wonder it's like well if it's truly your twin flame why is this period of time temporary for most people and again i say for most people because it was temporary for me and for most i speak with it is temporary However, I am assuming there are most likely twin flames who simply choose to meet at a point when they are both capable of sustaining these high vibrations, and then they just stay in this so-called honeymoon love bubble phase permanently, essentially. But that was not the case for me and not for most people I speak with. And the reason is because essentially we take in all this new energy it skyrockets our vibration, breaks through all those walls and boundaries, but they are all still there. And this is where it gets really hard to put these things into words. So bear with me, but it's like we've raised our vibration to the super, super high level, which is how we are capable of experiencing these very profound, spiritual, unexplainable, even esoteric experiences with our twin flame during this time. And I'll get into those in just a second. 
but then over time that energy settles and now it must be integrated because most of us still have quite a bit of healing to do and that is the integration process it's where all of that energy we took in from our twin flame begins to actually slowly now work through us, work through those walls, work through those boundaries, heal those wounds, reprogram those negative subconscious thoughts. That happens, that deeper level healing and reprogramming doesn't happen instantaneously upon meeting our twin flame. It has to happen over time. I say this all the time, but healing truly isn't linear. It takes time for us to fully absorb that energy, that powerful, intense, unconditional love energy into our being to allow it to heal us, to reprogram us, to break down those limiting beliefs and energetic walls inside of ourselves. So now that we've had kind of all of that laid out there, I feel again, there it's so hard to find the words to describe this. So I just hope that in sharing this, it resonates with someone and gives you some kind of different perspective or information that gives you some kind of guidance because this is very hard to put into words, but I am doing my best here. So now let's get into okay so now we understand why these things happen we raise our vibration really high and also why they don't last because we have to integrate this energy then over time but what happens in between when our when our vibration is skyrocketed to the super high level we've just met our twin flame and now we're in this so-called love bubble phase how do we know that we're in it what begins to happen so this again can manifest differently for different people for some this is like a very intense crash course in spirituality you may very suddenly just like almost instantaneously find yourself researching spiritual topics for me I'm getting chills still just talking about this. I almost instantaneously found the topic of twin flames because I was just <laughs> crazily researching like what is going on researching these signs symptoms i don't even remember how i stumbled on twin flame material maybe much like you came to this video but the same thing happened to me i was listening to all these twin flame teachers on youtube i'm listening to the signs i'm freaking out and the funniest thing is i felt so connected so spiritually connected to my twin when we met that, and I just saw this. I wouldn't. I didn't even remember saying this, but as I was going through our very, very old messages, like back when we first met five, or reconnected five years ago, I saw that within just a few weeks of meeting this man, I had texted him and said like, hey, I heard about the concept of twin flames. It's kind of like this idea that blah, blah, blah. And I gave him my understanding of what twin flames were. And it just made me realize like, you know, this getting to know you process with a twin flame is very accelerated. Now, I'm not saying everyone's going to feel comfortable telling their twin flame like a few weeks after meeting that they think that they're their twin flame. I know that was probably kind of weird for me to do, but it just shows how you instantaneously feel at home with this person. You feel comfortable with this person, but you are also intensely aware that there is something here. There is a connection here. And it's almost like your higher self drives you to research these things almost obsessively. If I'm being honest, I would listen to hours of this content every day because it's like you have this need, this just craving to understand and put words to your experience with this person. Now, what do I talk about when I'm, when I'm saying this experience? What do I mean? Well, again, many things can happen. So for some, this love bubble phase, again, it's like this accelerated time of intensely researching spirituality. You might find yourself just like totally either withdrawing or feeling super disconnected from the 3D physical world. For me at this time, it's like I dropped out of school. I like wasn't working. I was so like, it, it was crazy because at this time I, I had been up until this point, a very productive, high achieving person. But when this energy hit me, it just like brought me to my knees in all areas of my life. It's like all I could think about was my twin flame and our connection. And I could feel him all the time. All I could research was about twin flame material. And throughout all of this, I was experiencing all of these very spiritual, esoteric, intense symptoms and experiences. So if you are going through this, know you are not alone. 
it's kind of strange because oftentimes during this bubble love phase, twin flames will actually be very fatigued, very physically tired, but spiritually alert. And that is the best way I can describe it. You might find yourself like sleeping, for example, 12 to 15 or even longer hours a day or taking naps throughout the day. You might find yourself really disconnecting from most people in your 3D life, your friends, your family. It might feel like your whole world is changing so fast and yet the whole time during this love bubble phase, you will be on this cloud nine of connection because throughout all of it, you are, it's like you don't even really realize how much you're disconnecting from the physical world because of how much you are connecting with this person. This person, literally, their energy feels like it is consuming you. And I know I'm being really dramatic, but I also know this is what I experienced and what many people do experience. So deep breath because I know I've been talking a little bit fast. I just have so much to say about this topic, but some of these spiritual signs and symptoms, again, this it's like I cannot create an exhaustive list of all of the things that could happen to you during the love bubble phase or the bubble love phase. So for me, my dreams during this time were extremely spiritual and extremely intense. In fact, during this window of time, I had the most telepathic dreams, dreams where I literally would have conversations with my twin flame that then he would remember, like we would both remember these dreams. And now I understand these to be shared dreams, which are very common for twin flames. But the ironic thing is almost all of these very intense signs, synchronicities, experiences most of them i would say the bulk of them actually did happen during this couple month i'd say maybe three or four month window for me personally it can differ from person to person but for me it was probably about three months and during this time i experienced the most signs and symptoms by far that i have in like the last five years i've now been in the physical with my twin flame and the reason so this leads me to my next point which is i feel part of the reason this love bubble phase or this bubble love phase occurs is actually because i do believe that in spite of it being very energetic right it just happens because our energy is being raised to this very high level where we are capable of consciously experiencing more of the experiences that we could have all the time if we didn't have these blocks limiting beliefs within us or a like an overfixation on the physical 3d world which i know sounds it's all kind of confusing it's like these experiences that you could have all the time because i do believe that we could always have conscious telepathy with our twin flame that we could always be just as aware intensely and blissfully of their presence but I also do believe that most of us in our day-to-day -day life or because of the ways in which we're wounded or blocked emotionally, energetically, do not experience it to that extent on the day-to-day -day basis, except with the exception of, for most people, this strange period of time where everything just like really ramps up. Now, I know I'm kind of speaking around the point, but I don't really know how else to get these thoughts across just because it's like there are so many elements I feel tie in to this phase, what it means. But getting back to why I think this happens on a higher self level, and this is purely coming from my own thoughts and intuition, so be sure to let me know if you have a different thought on this in the comments. Personally, I believe that this happens because it's, it's like to signal to each person within the Twin Flame Connection how profound and spiritual and deep this connection is because once you experience these signs symptoms synchronicities with a person that you are never going to experience with anyone else it's like as if there was a way to forget them which of course there isn't anyway but there is no way that your logical mind is ever going to be able to wrap itself around what occurred with this person during this period of time so no matter where you go, regardless of whether you separate in the physical later on, no matter what happens, your connection is now very much solidified in the physical. Now, of course, 
It's always solidified energetically, spiritually. This connection is always unbreakable. But what I mean is, I think it's almost a safeguard against your ego and logical minds. Like, okay, you think you're going to just forget this person and move on like they're nothing. Well, what about all of these insane, unexplainable experiences you had with them? Ego, how are you going to explain any of that to yourself even decades down the road? And you are not because this person and these experiences you have with them are going to leave a very deep impression upon you or rather that's really not the right way to say it because really the energetically accurate way to say that is they are going to reconnect you with those deeper level parts of yourself and your soul and you will never forget the ways in which they reconnected you the you human you with you the soul spiritual authentic you so for example during this time number signs and synchronicities will absolutely go crazy of course most twin flames see angel numbers 11 11 222 all the time along this path but they usually ramp up during the bubble love phase the physical sensations again it's like everything during this time will be amplified feeling them beside you sharing sharing dreams with them Having even moments of conscious telepathy, I had moments during this period of time where I consciously, telepathically communicated or received communication from my twin flame. Things will happen that again, it's like you will try to tell other people about these things and I did. They will not understand you because the things you are describing were things you experienced in the fifth dimension on a higher level of existence. So someone who has only existed in the 3D, in the physical, who has not accessed those higher realms or experiences will not be capable of processing or understanding the experiences that you had with this person in the fifth dimension during this so-called bubble love phase. So also during this time, one reason that people call it the love bubble phase or the bubble love phase is because it usually is a time of very blissful emotion. Now, I have heard it said that this could be felt by one or both people in the twin flame connection, but I personally found in my own connection and in speaking with others that regardless of whether or not this twin flame couple these twin flame counterparts do end up separating after this time i do find that most of the time both of them feel these very powerful blissful feelings it's kind of like many people have described it as giving you a glimpse into what physical reunion is going to be like and i think that's true at least emotionally speaking and by reunion, of course, I mean once you have healed, once you have integrated all of these energies into your energy body and heal to the point where you are capable of sustaining those very high vibration experiences with your twin flame in the physical world. So I feel I could speak on this topic forever, but do let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you and also if you would like me to elaborate on any of these points i know a lot was brought up but now before we close out here i want to circle back to what i've been saying about healing integrating the energies this is a very day by day moment by moment breath by breath healing integrating process because throughout this journey there will be times where you and your twin flame both will find yourself feeling triggered feeling confused the ego will step in and try to confuse things it's like after all of these profound spiritual deep meaningful experiences the ego then steps in tries to either scale it back or over explain it or over analyze it and i have found that by far the best tool for integrating these higher vibration energies and sustaining them on a daily basis is by meditating with subliminals because all of what we're talking about here when we speak about energy it's all processes that are happening on the subconscious level which of course the subconscious is a direct reflection of the energy field so as we uproot negative beliefs and thought patterns in the subconscious mind 
we actually release those blocks in our energy, which then of course in turn allows us to better sustain these high vibrational connections, this high energy that we are having with our twin flame that causes this honeymoon phase to begin with, this love bubble phase to begin with. So I have created a seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal designed just for this to really address each of the seven chakras and any blocks or negative beliefs that might be stored in each chakra blocking this flow of energy, slowing the energy and therefore essentially bringing us down from this really high vibrational place with our twin flame and causing things you see, the running, the chasing, the conflicts. I find that meditating with this seven chakra clearing every morning is a really powerful way to, on a daily basis, release those blocks, open communication and movement forward in the physical with your twin flame, and ultimately a harmonious physical reunion. So you can try out this subliminal or any of the more than 100 I've created completely free for seven days when you create a free trial account on my website. So the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comment and description box. You can click that link and explore more about it if you're interested. Thank you so much again for being here with me in this time and space. Please do subscribe if I resonate with you and you can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast. Thank you.